Hey there, investors. Welcome back to our channel, where we provide valuable tips and insights into the world of finance. In today's video, we're going to guide you through the process of buying Facebook shares. So, if you're interested in investing in one of the biggest social media giants, you've come to the right place. Before we begin, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest investment advice. Now, let's dive into the steps on how to buy Facebook shares. The first step in buying any stock is to conduct thorough research and analysis. Familiarize yourself with Facebook's performance, financials, news, and industry trends. This knowledge will help you make informed decisions. To buy Facebook shares, you'll need to open an account with a reputable brokerage firm like the Bamboo app. Go to Play Store or App Store. Search and download the Bamboo app. Launch the app. Select your country and register an account in the Bamboo app. Create a transaction PIN. Before you can buy stocks, you have to verify your identity. Provide your bank account details. Fill your investment profile. Fill out your affiliation details. Then make a deposit. After filling out the required information, you can then proceed and make a deposit into your Bamboo app account. You can add funds through bank transfer or through bank cards. After a successful deposit, go to the Bamboo app dashboard. Tap on Buy a Stock. Use the search box and search for Meta. Scroll down and select Meta. You will see the current price of the Meta stock and some details about it. Scroll down and tap on Buy. Congratulations, you're now a proud owner of Facebook shares. But remember, investing is a long-term commitment. Keep an eye on your investment, monitor news and market trends, and make adjustments to your portfolio as needed. And that's it. By following these steps, you can become a shareholder in one of the world's most prominent tech companies. Remember that investing in stocks carries risks, and it's always wise to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. We hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit from it. As always, thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.